there's something in After Effects that I always wanted to do more with, and that is stacking the same effect on top of each other. Kind of like when uh, Ben Marriott uh, sort of stacked up his glow to create a more uh, realistic glow, for example. And yeah, in, in today's video, I'm gonna try to do something sort of similar, but this time I'm gonna stack a different uh, effect in After Effects to create this sort of waveform thing that you see over here. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so this should be a quick one. I'm gonna start out by creating a new shape and then I'm just gonna draw a random rectangular. This is a crucial part of the uh, setup over here. I'm gonna put on a linear gradient. And our job today is to figure out which uh, gradient would look best on our, on our object. Uh, so to speak and uh, right now I'm gonna just gonna sc scroll through my uh, collection of gradient that I had I think I'm gonna just gonna go with something but light today I'm gonna go with retro over here and you know obviously you don't, you don't have to strictly stick to a certain setup of gradient you can just pick this gradient over here and then you know maybe change up some part of it and this looks so beautiful and then you know you can drag up drag it up this way to make it look like it, it's got some sort of random depths or random or sudden rays of uh, z depth into it make it look more interesting i want to make this brighter over here this one drag down this way drag it up that way and also this one as well i'm gonna drag it out this one you know just create some high points and some low points within the uh, uh within the uh graded itself and it's gonna look nice eventually boom i want this to be a little pinkish there we go there you see, you see this transition over here oh my god i'm, so, I'm such a such a sucker for that that kind of thing there should be a word for that there should be like a or maybe there is and i'm just too dumb to to know about it. this part to support this one I drag this one in like so. There we go. Now um, that you get a, a linear gradient bar, I'm gonna pre-compose the thing, this layer over here. Pre-compose it and call it uh, wave shape. And in this wave shape pre-composition, I'm gonna add in a wave warp. Wave warp. Wait, there we go. Drag it in. This is the first step in setting up our entire animation for today's tutorial. And then we're gonna try. What we're gonna try and make today is one of those uh, particle waves that I made a couple of years ago. So I'm gonna head over here to the wave type, select noise, and as you can see, it's gonna break the uh, shape down into waves of noise instead of sine waves that we, that we had before. The more you drag out, the more it's gonna be separated out and the fun part comes when you rotate the direction of the waves and yes, as you can see, some, some of the colors sort of get blend into each other like that and you get this nice, pretty nice texture of uh, noisy waves. As you can see, we get some pretty interesting part where the uh, where the shape itself is separating into several different pieces of uh, smaller shapes over here thanks to the wave warp and I, I think that, I think that's kind of interesting. It's nice that we have a gradient full of contrast. Uh, here's uh, where the fun parts comes in. I'm gonna add in another wave warp into the equation and boom. It's kind of underrated this sort of stacking your wave warp effects in is that you get you get some sort of pretty unique uh, style and uh, unique look. I think I've been experimenting with a stacking wave warp for the longest time. Uh, like so, I'm gonna put it in a circle and drag it out. We, we got this wave, sort of wave of, sine wave of particle. And I'm gonna pin the uh, left edge some interesting style and the more you rotate it the, the more variation you're gonna get it's actually due to how the uh the shape that's affected by the first wave warp over here comes out in the second wave warp over here and how it's represented and the uh, distortion of this in the second one I kind of like this sort of setup because you can actually play around more with the sort of waves that you wouldn't normally touch in a in a motion graphics project like you got square triangle or semicircle stuff like that you know and then you can add in another wave warp rotate it around 
put it a square. I think two is where it's like the uh, it's like the sweet point of uh, how many wave warps you can stack on top of each other because I think after two it's just gonna start taking the uh, you know distorting entirely of the effects that come before it and it's just gonna take the shape of whatever wave warps uh, of the one at the bottom that you can put in. I got this one set up over here. This is like a sawtooth and as it goes around it's kind of create like this um, and thanks to the color it's kind of create like this uh sort of false dimensional look over here uh well, since this uh part is a little bit darker we kind of get a feeling that this at the bottom and then when you move the wave height up like this actually can push some of those particles away and they can become something like this. Here's something that I like to do is also creating some pretty unique looking smoke over here. I'm gonna rotate this shape inside of the composition, sorry. Uh, make it smaller a little bit like that. Center it in the composition. I'm gonna drag this down here. And inside of the shape, I'm gonna turn the rectangle into a Bezier path. I'm gonna drag it in like this like a like a funnel shape over here and outside of the account i'm gonna put it to a sine wave i put the direction to to zero degree drag in the wave height a little bit and i'm gonna pin the bottom edge there we go and then when you play it back around it's gonna be like a smoke thing right pretty basic setup yeah and then i'm gonna put in a wave warp another wave warp i'm gonna put in a circle gonna drag up the wave height a little bit as you can see now it's already like putting off these uh highlight of the gradient out here into into the distortion as well i think i like that a lot drag up the wave width gonna rotate it somewhere else like maybe like over here and uh 70 70 degree drag the wave speed down and pin maybe pin the bottom edge like this Ooh! <laughs> now you got some uh, pretty unique smoke shape uh, that's pretty good uh, you can make it more random by changing up the speed now you get an even more random wave pretty much it's just a basic just uh, changing up all the settings Maybe you can try an uncircle but yeah i don't think that's gonna look as good or maybe it's, it could be a different look you know, it's, it's so good. It's just something that you can't go wrong with it if you spend enough time with it, you know. That looks so good. And maybe, look at this. Put it in a circle. Okay, this one's a circle. And this one is going to be a noise. And then I'm going to drag out the wave height and the wave width. Okay. Maybe. Point two. Yo, what? This is all by accident, okay? It's just, it's just how good this looked by accident. I can't believe it. Bring up the wave width like this. Oh. Yeah, you get you can get some pretty unique look with this. Just it's, and it's all native After Effects uh, effects as well. It's just like I can probably do like a like a live stream of me just doing interpretational stuff in After Effects. I think that's gonna be interesting in my mind. I don't know what you guys think. Just let me down in the comments below. I like how it just comes out over here like a like a particle system of square particles and it's just continuous continuously growing out over here. Maybe add another one. Uh, try like just go crazy at this point like a semi-circle maybe drag this one over here oh this is insane this is insane dude can't deal with this right now oh my god look at that oh my god oh my god oh, what oh. yes sir yes sir yeah, well, I, I mean, this tutorial was supposed to start out pretty normal, uh, but then what we ended up here kind of looks like a mental health issues. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today improvis improvisation. I think I think we're just the main focus of this video of this entire video is just this two technique of putting wave warp uh, on top of each other, two wave warp into one single layer to create this uh, sort of look over here that we got. But yeah, you can try, just go ahead and try it out. 
It's a lot of looks you can uh, pull off with this uh, technique. But yeah, catch you all later.